not happy with your body? Enough of the excuse it's in your genes because it isn't. And how a drop of your own blood could end baldness. I want to see some results that you're getting with this. Your big change. All new today on The Doctors. It's an inherited condition that affects hundreds of millions of people. We're talking 80% of men, 20% of women. Anyone have any idea what I'm talking about? Yeah. Hair loss. You are spot on. Anyone ever wake up in the morning, get out of the shower, and this is in their hand? It's somewhat debilitating, and it's crushing a little bit because no one wants to lose their hair. But what tends to happen is, as we age, and again, some are more susceptible to others based on genetics, but the hairs actually begin to thin. And what's really happening is at the level of the hair follicle over time, and again, a lot of this is determined by your genetics. Hair shrinkage, you'll see that at the base of the follicle. In this other picture, you're literally gonna see the base of the hair follicle and how unhealthy it can become but since it is genetics in many cases, could a baldness cure be just around the corner? And we wanted to talk about this because newspapers are reporting, quote, baldness cure could be for sale in just two years. Yes. Yes. All I right. mean, they're talking like cure. But I hate to break it to everyone. A mm, little misleading in that headline. That, that is so uh, true. First, sorry. the bad news. <laughs> There's no chance that there will be a baldness cure that will be hitting drugstore shelves in the next two years. Now the good news. The University of Pennsylvania researchers have identified the gene that's responsible for baldness and clinical trials using gene therapy are expected in the next two years. And then scientists are saying that if they can figure this out precisely, there could, I emphasize the word could, be a cure for baldness maybe in about eight years. So it's a definite maybe. <laughs> and uh, what in the world, though, do you do? No one wants to sit around, wait maybe eight years till there may or may not be a cure. Well, the latest hair loss hope is platelet-rich plasma therapy combined with laser treatment. This is, check it out. Hi, Jessica. How are you today? Nice it's a pleasure you. to see you. So how long has your hair been falling out for? How long has it been a problem? Five or six years ago, I noticed that my hair was getting thinner. I really started to notice patches where I see my scalp through my part line or the back of my hair, and that's when I really started to become self-conscious of it. There are a number of excellent new treatment approaches, so hopefully we can slow down the hair loss or maybe even stop it. There's something new called PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, where we can actually draw Draw your own blood and activate the growth factors that can stimulate your hair by injecting them back into your scalp. We're now going to turn on this red light. You're going to come in once a week for eight weeks, and this should give you excellent results in improving your hair. Now we're going to perform the PRP procedure. We're going to remove some blood from you, and then we're going to add to it an activating compound that can stimulate your hair to grow. That's it. We're all done. The treatment is over. How do you feel? I feel great. Board certified dermatologist and cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Neil Sadie joins us. And you've really pioneered this new treatment. Yes, Travis. You know, I know that having lost my hair early in life, that both men and women are really devastated by hair loss. So we have these exciting new treatments combining low energy red light lasers and light emitting diodes in conjunction with platelet rich plasma. New exciting hope for the treatment of hair loss. PRP, cool stuff. I know I've had it injected in my knee. We've done it on the show injection so far so-called vampire lift taking blood and injecting it into the face but now you're putting it in the scalp that's right recent literature has shown that there are active growth factors from our own blood in our platelets that can stimulate new hair growth decrease hair shedding and make our hair healthier i know i want to see some results that you're getting with this technique let's take a look well as you can see here significant improving using this combination type of approach Again, the platelet-rich plasma having these intrinsic type of growth factors that stimulate hair growth and the low energy laser that decreases inflammation. So you're slowing down the hair loss and you're stimulating new hair growth at the same time. Is there any difference in the way that you treat women versus men as far as for hair loss? There are differences, but now with these new technologic approaches, we see the same efficacious results both in men and women. So using this combination approach is what we do in both sexes. 
Thank you, Dr. Sadie, for joining us. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Coming up, shocking yet simple ways to keep your mind sharp and stop dementia before it starts.